In this video, we're going to be having a look at the mould indicator in Home Assistant. Make sure you stick around and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below and keep an eye out for more videos. Hi, I'm Will from Will Surridge Tech, and today we're going to be having a look at the mould indicator in Home Assistant. We're going to set that up, we're then going to set up a threshold sensor, and an automation which releases a persistent notification. So a lot of things coming up. So let's get going. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is to head into Home Assistant and head to our file editor. In here, we are going to need to set up a sensor. This sensor is going to be of the platform mold indicator cracky. Really struggling with my spelling. We need an indoor temp sensor, an indoor humidity sensor, an outdoor temp sensor, and a calibration factor. Right. So, our temperature sensor is going to be our kitchen screen temperature. Quite hot at the moment, cracky. Our humidity is going to be our kitchen screen humidity sensor. Outdoors, what have we got? We're going to need to create a template sensor based on this. So if we do a one of these That should do that, and then we will end up with a sensor dot outdoor temp. And then last is our calibration factor. So the calibration factor is the indoor temperature minus the outdoor temperature divided by the temperature critical point minus the outdoor temperature. The critical point is the coldest surface in the room. So it obviously doesn't matter if you're doing this on a hot day or a cold day because it'll average itself out. Uh, you just need to make sure you're taking your indoor, your outdoor and your critical temperature at the same time to create this calibration factor. What I'm going to use for my critical point is actually my climate dot kitchen because that is currently at the coldest point in the room and it's at 19 degrees. So. Our critical calibration factor is our indoor temperature, which is twenty-five point five. Should probably do this somewhere else. Do it here. Twenty-five point five minus our outdoor temperature, which is sixteen point four. 25.5 minus 16.4 all divided by our critical point temperature which is 19 minus our outdoor temperature which is 16.4 and that gives us an answer of 3.5 so back to our file editor our calibration factor is 3.5 we hit save and then we can restart Home Assistant. 
So, what I have done incorrectly, of course, is spelt mould. Because mould, apparently, doesn't have a U. Instead, it's mould. Not mould, mould. Um, we also can give it a name. Which I will. You know, spell it correctly. Um, right, so we can now restart Home Assistant. Once we have, of course, checked our configuration. Right, so that has now successfully restarted. If we head into our developer tools, we can see that our outdoor temperature is displaying 16 degrees and our mold detector is showing us 64. And that is the percentage likelihood of mold. If the sensor rises to about 70%, mold growth may occur. At 100%, the air humidity condenses at the critical point. So given we're quite close to 70%, and I don't think mold is coming anytime soon, um, what we're going to do is set a threshold sensor. So to do that, we go into our file editor, we go into our configuration, we set a new binary sensor, and we want the limit, no, the entity ID to be and we want the upper limit to be 80. Five, 80. So if it gets to above 80% mold likelihood, then it will trigger the sensor. And of course we're going to name this mold threshold. So we can then, surprisingly enough, restart Home Assistant again. Right, so now we are here, we can see that our mould threshold is off, because the value is 64 and we're waiting for it to get to 80. And so what we can do is create a persistent notification for that. Now a persistent notification is just a notification that pops up in Home Assistant, a bit like these, and they stay here until you dismiss them. So, event state node. In this, if the mold threshold is on, oh dear, then very simply, we call a service, and that service is going to be a persistent notification, create, and in the data, oh no, in the JSON editor for the data, we want a message to say, yes. And of course we want the title to be mold alert. Simple as that. What we could also do is have a cool service to turn on a fan or a dehumidifier. I don't have any of those, so I can't. But if you did, you could. Um, and just to show it off, if I add an inject node, we can see what happens. So we have no notifications, we inject this, and we get a notification. And that pops up saying there is a chance of mould in the kitchen, and we can dismiss it. It is as simple as that. So there we have it. We will now be notified persistently if the likelihood of mould in the kitchen gets above a certain threshold. 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and click the bell icon to find out more about my smart tech and how you can build yourself the ultimate smart home.